Hi there. Now for this identity we're asked to prove cosine a divided by sine of a plus the tan of a is identical to 1 all divided by sine a times the cosine of a. So if you'd like to have a go at this one just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back you can either fast forward just to check the method or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we start off then with proof and we've got to pick a side as usual to start with and in this example it is going to be the left hand side because it's got more terms than the right hand side. It's got this term here, one term plus another term and we're trying to reduce it down to one term. Now what I'm going to do then, we'll copy that in and we've got cosine a then divided by sine of a and then plus the second term tan of a. And so this is going to be identical to. Well we've got to create a fraction here so we've got a fractional term here okay we haven't got a fractional term here so we need to start thinking about fractions putting it over a common denominator but I do notice that what we've got here involves sines and cosines and we've got a tan of an angle here so we need to convert this to another well-known identity this is sine a divided by cosine a so let's just copy the first term down again we've got the cosine of a divided by the sine of a and in place of the tan of a I'll write that as sine a divided by cosine of a. So you should be familiar with that identity there for tan a. Now we've got two terms, two fractions and so we need to put this over a common denominator and that common denominator will be sine a times cosine a. So put that in, sine a times cosine a. And so what do we multiply sine a by to get this denominator? Will it be cosine a? So we multiply the top as well by cosine a. So you've got cosine a times cosine a which is simply cos squared a. And then plus same for this one, what do you multiply cosine a by to get this denominator? Well it's sine a, so we times the top here by sine a and we get sine squared a. And you should be familiar with the top here, that identity cosine squared a plus sine squared a is 1. And so what we end up with is the result that we want. 1 all divided by sine a cosine a. So quite a nice, short, simple identity. So I hope you're able to get that one. If not, that you've been able to see how to do it.